Hey guys, it's Katie, and it is Thanksgiving Day. I just wanted to make a video talking to you guys about what I'm thankful for. Um, this really sweet girl, I'll put her link in the down bar, um, she made this video about what she was thankful for, and it made me kind of think, you know, I don't... Sorry, I'm like adjusting my position. Um, I don't really reflect on what I'm really thankful for, and I felt like a video is the best way to do that, because I have had a lot of stuff going on with me, and it's kind of just opened my eyes to see, you know, what would it be like if I didn't have this, or I didn't have that, and I wasn't as fortunate as I am. So I decided just to sit down with you guys and talk about what I'm thankful for. And if you guys want to video response anything below, go ahead and do that, and comment with what you're thankful for, and it would really mean the world to me. And you can say whatever in the world you're thankful for, freedom of speech, duh. So the first thing that I'm thankful for is my health. Yeah, I I'm, have the weirdest immune system ever. Like, I get sick almost like every other year. Like this this year I'm not like getting sick. I you know, I'm just have this weird immune system. Like last year I had bronchitis and it was really bad bronchitis. But this year I'm kind of like not getting sick. Like I had a cough but it went away in like three days. It's really weird. So I have good health. Thank thank God for my health. Thank whoever you wanna Thank Buddha. I don't know who Buddha is, but thank him too. So I'm thankful for my health, and I just wanted to talk about this little story. Um, my mom was diagnosed with a lymph node cancer last year, um, early-ish, like after summer of last year. So if you guys want to like Google what that is, go ahead. Um, I don't really want to talk about it right now because I get so squeamish with like the inside parts and the the B word. The B word. Um, it, it creeps me out. Gross. Ugh. Disgusting. I hate getting shots. I hate all that stuff. But um, so yeah, she had lymph node cancer, and it really just like brought to my attention. You know, weird situation because like my grandmother died of brain cancer a few, I think like five or six years ago, four or five, six years ago. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I know I was in sixth grade, so probably about four years ago. After that happened. Everything was all smooth, and we got over that, and then my mom got cancer, and it was really a weird situation because um, we kind of didn't really know how to deal with it because everyone in our family has always had pretty good health, um, aside from my grandmother, but all of our friends and our family and our neighbors, all of them, came together and made dinners for us and just helped us and comforted us the whole way, and she ended up um, go getting over it. She got like a surgery, and some stuff inside of her that made her all better but um so yeah she's done with all her cancer she got all the chemo and all that wacky stuff and everything's all good now but it was a really tough tough experience and I'm really really thankful for all my friends and family that helped us through it and um I never really talked about this before so I don't know how you guys are gonna take it and something else I'm also thankful for is my religion because I'm a Christian um I'm a Presbyterian Christian, so I'm a Presbyterian. I'm not really sure the difference between Presbyterian and all the other ones, but I just know that our Lord's Prayer thing is different. Um, I know I'm not going to talk too much about religion, so don't worry. If you want to fast forward through this, whatever you want to do, go ahead. But my religion kind of went like this. Like, I was brought up in a good family with, like, we went to church every Sunday, and then it kind of went downhill um, when I got to, like, decide whether I wanted to go or not, because none of my friends went to my church, and it was just kind of awkward for me to go because I didn't know anybody and then it kind of just went uphill again like went up because I had to do confirmation like my mom wanted me to get confirmed which just kind of confirms my faith and stuff and I went to that like I've been doing that every Sunday I've been praying a lot more than I used to and it just kind of makes me feel happy that I can talk to someone and they won't tell anybody <laughs> so I'm also going to have a new outlook on life after Thanksgiving which is to stop gossiping stop spread rumors and just choose my friends wisely so that's all I really have to say thanks for my friends family and all of you and if you guys have anything to say go ahead and put it down below and I will read it and comments and all that lovely stuff so thanks for watching bye